In a nutshell, Winter Lake is what we call a working landscapes project, where we were trying to find a project that would show benefits to natural resources, in this case, fish and, and migrating waterfowl, and benefit ranchers that own property in the area. Ranching is a huge part of our local economic base and a part of our culture. And so getting an opportunity to pair the work that's important to this area and outcomes of conservation as well is a great opportunity to support the local community. So the Coquille Watershed is located on the Southern Oregon coast and it's, it's a beautiful place. You have a mixture of woods and rivers and large valleys and then you all of a sudden bump into the ocean and it's a pretty spectacular place to work and live. This particular place is the homelands of the Coquille Indian tribe. Restoring the watershed and the fishery component is in the hearts and is very key to the Coquille Indian tribe. All estuaries need the same thing. They need connectivity, they need tidal exchange, they need complex vegetation, and they need complex channels so that they could provide those benefits to both people and nature. The Winter Lake project involved many different hands to dig channels, to plant, to fence, and to install these large tide gate systems that provide for fish passage and water control. It's amazing to see the change. This was a, a really productive cattle pasture here, and there was no trees, no willows, and this was all flat. And the tidal pond you're looking at in front of me was just a flat portion of the pasture. When we put in the new tide gate that allows us to manage the water and built these channels, it created these pockets. It's a hot spot for uh, fish, coho in the winter, juvenile coho want to be in here. So this changed from a grazing flat cattle pasture into this multi-use and still obtaining some agricultural products off the property. What we really need to be looking at with this is how do we replicate what nature did originally where we can move that water across the landscape and, and not hold it back. The big gates here are designed so that we've got that capacity here. It's fulfilling to know that our ground and our neighbor's ground and everything is set up for at least another 50 to 100 years. The data that's coming out of this thing is just fantastic as far as be able to explain why stuff is happening and isn't. And the watershed's got a, a monitoring grant that includes this and a couple other projects right here in the Mid Valley. The monitoring really looks at the, the nitty gritty of it to see what is working and what's not and how to make these projects better going forward. As you can see around me, uh, the restoration site is just maturing really beautifully. We're standing in the middle of three years worth of growth on these willows and they are starting to provide shade already for the channels. There's over 110,000 willows planted along the channels and over 15,000 trees and shrubs planted and it will become great habitat and will just continue. The most exciting thing about this project is the condition of the juvenile coho that we're catching. We are catching by and far the largest, healthiest looking coho at this Winter Lake site from all of our monitoring sites. And just seeing how healthy they are, how large they are, it's exciting. No one group could pull off a project like this, whether it be conservation or agriculture, whether it be one community, you know, our state, our federal, our tribal members, you know, it took everybody coming together. This project is now inspiring projects like this, not only in the Coquille Valley, but up and down the Oregon coast. And I think we're gonna see a lot of return on investment when it comes to healthy estuaries and healthy communities.